Hey YouTube, what's good with y'all? Coach Raw here. You know one kingdom relationship coach. How y'all doing? If you're new to my channel, my name is Coach Raw. I am a kingdom relationship coach. And what I do is I talk about relationship from a kingdom perspective. Kingdom means God's way of doing things. That what kingdom mean. Kingdom mean God's way of doing things. So I talk about relationship from a godly perspective. If there's something that you're interested in, you like this type of this type of content, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell so you get notified when I upload videos. Um, I just want to apologize for, you know, my absence and not being consistent. You know, um, this week here, I'm on my birthday vacation, you know, so I try not to work too hard um, because I am a workaholic, you know, and I very, very rarely do things for myself. You know, one of my clients, she get a session with me on a regular basis and she was saying, Coach Roy, you need to take your own advice and, you know, go on a vacation sometime. When the last time you did something with yourself went on a vacation? I was like, well, it's been a while. So, you know, I thought about it. I said, yeah, you know, she right, you know, because I always tell her, you know, hey, take time out for yourself, take a, get a break because she's a hard-working woman, you know. Uh, so I said, you know what, she right, let me take my own advice. So, um, this whole week, I just, I'm just on vacation, just trying to take it easy, you know, for my birthday. My birthday is Sunday, so uh, I have to try not to work so hard. Because before, I was working like seven, six, seven days a week, 10, 10 11, 12 hours a day, you know, ain't trying to do videos and stuff like that. So, it's not easy, trust me, it's not easy working Six seven out uh, uh six, six 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 seven days a week, six or seven days a week. It all it all depends. And then working ten hour shifts, and then doing videos. A lot of times you just you just be tired, you just be burnt out. So I apologize for my absence, uh, but I'm trying to be more consistent. Right now I'm just trying to rest up, I'm trying to rest up and get some rest, and just enjoy myself. Um, yeah, but today I want to talk about. Um, what did I want to talk about? I forgot my thought already. Did uh do a successful woman, do a boss chick, do a boss woman need a man? Do a boss woman need a man? And you know, I had I had to check myself on this. Uh, cause I, I you know, we always I know a lot of people have said to women that you shouldn't need a man, you should want a man. And I have said that on a lot of my videos, you know, before, and I don't mind coming back and correcting myself. Uh, a, a woman need a man, and men need women. That's the thing, you know. So as a woman, how would you feel if a man say, well, I don't need you, but I want you, though, but I don't need you? How how that feel to a woman? If you're a woman, if a man tell you that right now, so men want to be needed and women want to be needed also. We both, as men and women, we want to be needed. You know what I'm saying? We don't like the fact that somebody say they don't need us because we do need each other. Men need women and women need men. That's the way God made it. That's the way God put us together to help one another, to help one another. You know, um, now, and I understand where that comes from, you know, you may not need a man financially if you're a successful woman, if you make your own money and pay all your bills. You may not need a man financially, but you need a man for protection, you know, for security. Uh, you need a man for companionship, you know, in marriage. You need a man to satisfy you, you know, as far as the bedroom wise. You know, in marriage. I got to make sure I say in marriage because, boy, you got... You got the super say in the comment, this is not kingdom dating. You're supposed to promote asking that you are promoting fornication. This is not kingdom dating. So before somebody come in the comment, let me say in marriage, you know, you need a man to appease you in the bedroom. Although everybody know until they get married, I ain't here to judge you. You should wait till you get married, but you ain't waiting. That's your business. But, um, uh, but I gotta say, in marriage, you need a man to please you. Now, some of y'all might say, "Well, I don't need a man for that. I get me a toy." 
Yeah, you could. And, and, and matter of fact, they got some toys out here that can please a woman better than a man can, you know. And but that's still not the same. Um, not the same as having a man, you know. The the, the emotional bond and the psychological, you know, psychological bond that a man brings. A uh, toy can't bring that. It, a toy can bring you a good feeling. Yeah. After, after you feel good, you still don't have nobody to talk to. You still don't have nobody to come home to. You still don't have nobody to protect you as a woman. You know, you're still in the empty bed. You're not really happy. You know, you get your toy you want to. That toy ain't going to make you fully, fully happy. So, so, you know, you need a man. You need a man. And that's one thing that I just wanted to correct. You know, because it's, it's been said a lot, you, you know, a woman should not need a man. You know, she should want a man. And, you know, like I said, and I have said that before too, and I disagree with that, you know. Um, uh, a woman should need a man, and a woman does need a man, do need a man. And, again, she may not need that, need that man financially. She can pay her own bills, but she needs a man to do other things in her life that money can't do. You know, the money can't bring in a woman's life. Uh, just to be honest with y'all, you know, we, we are not wired by God to be, you know, single, men and women, unless you have a, uh, like, like like the Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul was, you know, had a gift of celibacy, you know, and, and it's very few people have a gift of celibacy, see. You know, Paul had a gift of celibacy. If you ain't got a gift of celibacy, you ain't got that gift of being single and totally dedicated to God, nothing else in full-time ministry, then you're not meant to be, you know, um, alone, single, whatever. So, you know, we need each other. Men and women need each other. So let's get it out of our, you know, our, our mind, our system, you know, Oh, you should not need a man. You should want a man. No. A man want to be needed. A man want to be needed. So, like I said, I have said it on my video before. And the reason why and I teach women to be successful, to go get money, because that 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 the reason why is because we have, we have so many men will use that uh, to control women, use money to control women. You know, and they, they've been doing it for so long now, even in the past. Your grandma, great-grandma, your aunties, great-aunties, you know, they stay with men because of money, you know. And, um, you know, but we live in a time now that women are making their own money, especially the black woman. So, and I encourage that because, again, I don't want a woman to be in a situation where she can't leave. Because, you know, she ain't got no money, you know, and, and, and this man paying all the bills. Because that's one thing that a man does who put hands on women is he try to get you to the point where you totally dependent on him. So you, when he put his hands on you, you can't go nowhere. See you know what I'm saying? You can't go nowhere. So that's why it's important for a woman to be successful, you know, and go get that bag and be, you know, I don't like to say boss, you know, but y'all call it boss. That's just me, you know. And the reason why I don't, I don't like to say boss, chick, is because, you know, it, it's just masculine energy. In society, you know, masculinized women. And women, everybody want to fit in. Everybody want to be a boss because it's popular. Me, one thing about me, I don't do with everything what society come out with, you know. So I don't agree with the word boss, but hey, you want to call yourself a boss? Go ahead, you know, but just give off masculine energy when you call yourself a boss. Um, my personal opinion, because again, it's just a trend. It's just what everybody doing. And one thing about me, I don't follow trends. I don't follow trends. I don't do what everybody do. So, you know, that's why I don't like the word boss. Women saying they bosses. Some say a successful woman. You know, this is why I teach women to be successful, to be in that position if they have to leave a man for putting hands on them, cheating on them, 
they can leave. See, because a lot of women, and I have seen this a lot. I've seen this a lot. You know, a woman would, would, would put up with a man because of the money, you know. And one thing about a woman I have learned over the years, when she financially secure, you know, she feel comfortable, you know, and she would stay. Um, she would share a man, as long as he paying the bills, you know. So I'm I'm with a woman making her money and making being successful. I'm not I'm not against that at all. Uh, but I'm against a woman saying that she don't need a man. You know, I don't need a man. I desire a man out of here. And listen, I, I know I told y'all that before on one of my on some of my videos. You shouldn't need a man. You, you should desire a man. But again, you 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 need a man. You know, there are some things that a man can bring in your life. That money can't bring companionship, somebody just just a masculine energy, you know, protection. You riding in your car, and just say you're a single mom and, and you you successful, you know you making good money, but you and your kids riding in the car, and y'all on the highway somewhere. Let's say y'all traveling, y'all going out of town, and y'all on a dark road, no, nothing out there, and you and you get a flat tire, put on the side of the road. What you gonna do? Oh, I can call somebody to come put a child. Yeah, you're gonna call. You're gonna call who? You're gonna call a man. Who gonna come turn the tire? You're a man. So you need a man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But you don't wanna be on the side of no dark road traveling, you and your kids by yourself. My point is, you'll feel a little bit more safe if you had a man with you. That can get out there and change that tire. You know what I'm saying? And get y'all back going. Instead of waiting God knows how long for a to uh, a roadside service man to come out there and change the tire. He, you know, he miles away. He miles away. He miles away the hour. And y'all on the side of the road. You know, anything could happen. It could be a homeless person out on the side of the road. Um, something like that. And see y'all. And see a single woman with kids, he might want to rob you because he ain't got no money. So he might want to rob you. Things happen. Um, I remember years ago, this young lady from my area, um, South Florida, she went to church on a Friday night. And on the way home from church, her car, I think it ran out of the gas, it broke down on I-95. She started walking. And guess what? A man came and picked her up inside the van. She, she, she should have never got inside the van, but I don't know what happened. I don't know. Did she volunteer to get in? He forced her to get in. But the man came and offered her, offered her help, I believe. I think how it's been a long time ago. The man came and offered her help, so she got inside the van with the man. And days later, they found her body in the dumpster over there off Oakland Park, somewhere in Oakland Park, if you're from Fort Lauderdale area, Broward County. You probably know what I'm talking about. They found the girl body over there in the dumpster. And um, they found out who did it, you know. And the guy who did it, you know, he well known in a lot of them. You know, daddy owned a funeral home and everything, you know. Church, background, and everything. But, you know, that's what happened when a woman don't have a male protection. She broke down by herself. She walking on a dangerous road at night, just left church, got in the van with a man. The man took advantage of her. The man got her body, forced it, took it, and then he took a light. Then that woman gone because she had male protection. So you need a man, okay? You need a man because you can't fight another man, you know, by yourself. Now, it's very real that a, that a woman can fight a man and be the man. Just, just be real. In some cases, it, it could happen, some exceptions. Always gonna be some exceptions. But on the norm, you know, if a man trying to attack you, you on the side of the road, you broken down, you ain't got no man there to help you fight or fight for you. You can get overtaken, overpowered, get your body took and get raw. So you need a man. You need a man. So we need to start telling women, oh, you shouldn't need no man. You just you should just want a man. And again, I have said that before, and now I take that back. You know, I, I had to think about this right here. You know, you need a man. And again, men need women. 
You know, men need women. Why God created a woman to help a man. As a man, help women, support women, uh, provide and protect women. Women help and support a man's vision. Speaking to a man's life, encourage a man. There's nothing like encouraging word from a, a woman that a man loves. That a woman that a man loves, if she encourages him, tell him, baby, you're going to make it. You're going to be all right. Do this and do that, you know. Pump that man up. Guess what? Men need that. Men need encouragement. So men need women and women need men. We need each other. We need each other. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you can say, I don't need no man for the bedroom. I'm going to give him a toy and all of here. But that, that toy can't protect you. That toy can't give you emotional, you know, support. And, you know, it can't give you that emotional bond. It only give you that feeling for a uh, uh, temporary time. But after that, you ain't still ain't got nobody to talk to. Still come home by yourself. And that's the thing. See, a lot of women who might call themselves bosses and making money, deep down inside, a lot of them really not happy. That yeah. I ain't going to say they're not happy, but because I can't really say whether they're happy or not because they'll be wrong because I'm not in their shoes. But I believe deep down inside, they 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 want a man to come home to. They very successful. They know how to make money. They got their own business. But they they deep down inside, they they want a, they want a man to come home to. And a lot of them women, they 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 would prefer to have a man that can help them out because a lot of women are forced to be bosses. Are forced to man up. You know. This young lady that I, I watch on, on, on Facebook was married, you know, in the church. Both of them and her and her husband in the church. Married, he cheated on her. Then he left her for the woman that he cheated on her with and uh, broke, divorced her and took everything. You know, left her with less than $20. Her, her and her son to defend for herself. So, guess what? She was forced to be a boss. You know, now she very successful. My opinion, she she wear her success over her shoulder. You know, and, and that could be a turn off. But, you know, I got to get to the queen, though. She she resilient. You know, I, I'm not knocking her at all. One thing about me, I don't get on here and knock women and bash women like some men do. Like, if, if, if a woman on social media doing some empowerment, stuff like that. I might disagree with them, but I'm not going to disagree with them in the comment and bash a woman because me, I got respect for a woman. You know, I don't give her everything these young ladies do, but one thing I, I can say about this young lady that she's a resilient woman and she she bounced back and, you know, but my, my point of bringing her up is, you know, she was forced to, to be a boss. To go get that money, go get that bag, you know, because of what men, what men have done to her, you know, according to her testimony, you know, she never met a man yet to value her. This is why a lot of women are being bosses. This is why a lot of women are going out and getting their money and being, oh, I don't need a man, you know, uh, and all that kind of stuff is because, you know, a lot of women have experienced getting cheated on, getting manipulated. Getting dogged out, dragging in the mud, their whole entire life. They a lot of women got this testimony that they never, never dated a man that truly valued them. You know, now some of it is their fault because they overlooking a good man. But I, I ain't gonna get into all that on this video right here, cause it's not what the video is about. You know, so a lot of women are forced to be bosses, but deep down inside, you know, a woman want a family. A woman want a husband. You know, maybe not all, I'm not saying all, but the majority of women, they want a husband. They want a family. Deep down inside, they, they want companionship. You know, it's just the way it is. You know, men, we, we, we a little different. Yeah, we want a woman, but a man could be, a man can be, in my opinion, a man can handle singleness more better than women because men don't have a clock. Men don't have a clock. Uh, our clock not ticking, you know what I'm saying? We don't have a biological clock. So women, they got a biological clock, you know, their clock is ticking. 
So me and we ain't gotta worry about that. So as long as we get something now putting I, I'm not saying me included, but I'm just saying men, you know. Long as men get something now putting, he don't really need no wife or no relationship. I mean, I, 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 no, I, 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 I don't mean to say need, but he need it, but he straight without it because that's just how men is. You know, until a man grow up and come into a level of maturity and say, you know what, man, I'm tired of just sleeping around. I want to settle down. I need me a woman. That's when a man gonna realize he need a woman. So I take that back when I said, you know, men don't really need, you know, men always need a woman. But a lot, of, but men more more happy single than women, you know, because we don't have a clock. We not we not on a time frame, you know. We we don't, you know, what I'm saying. And that's why men got the advantage over women, in, 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 you know, in dating and relationship because women on the Women on the clock, they got a clock, you know. And, and I talk to women so many times. Of course, well, I, my clock is my clock is ticking. I'm 35, 36 years old, never been married, so I figure, you know, I had to make this work. And the man told him over and over again that he don't want. I have, I have coached a client, and the man told her he don't love her. So why are you going back to this man? The man told you he don't love you. And you still laying your body down for the man because of my clock, Coach Rob. My clock, and I feel like I gotta make this work. But see, us men, we don't work. We ain't, we don't have a clock, so that's why you know, um, women get caught up in more stuff like that. That's why men can handle singleness more better than women, you know, um, because we don't have a clock. You see what I'm saying? So, but we both need each other. We both need each other. And like I said, deep down inside, those boss chicks who are single, they really, really wish they had a man that that could provide for them. They they been they've been forced to walk in their masculinity. They've been forced to walk and, and be strong because the world teaching women, oh, be a strong woman. And what society the definition of a strong woman is a woman that can make her own money. You know, a woman that got power, you know, a woman, that, and that's part of it, being a strong woman. That's part of it, but that's it. But it's more to being a strong woman. My my definition of a strong woman is a woman, you know, number one, she got boundaries. Number two, she got standards. That's my definition of a strong woman. Uh, number three, yeah, she got money. She make her own money, but she feminine. She walk around with her femininity, you know. She don't wear it on her shoulders. She's successful, but she don't wear it on her shoulders. Another another definition of a strong woman is a woman that don't take no crap for nobody. What I mean by that is, if you don't meet her standards, if you don't treat her right, she good with being single. That's my definition of a strong woman. She she able to be single and and, and not put up with a man foolishness. Even though she want to get married, but she refused to settle. To me, that's what a strong woman is. She got morals. She got character. You know, a strong woman, you know, she dressed right. She have dignity. She respect herself. That's what a strong woman is to me. But society teaches women to be, be a strong woman. is to be a boss and make your own money. I don't need no man. Walk around. I'm a, I'm a boss chicken all in here. You know. And that's society trying to promote women to be masculine and be strong. Oh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a strong woman. I can tell you where to go. F you. And this and that. I got my own money. I got my own car. I got my own house. I don't need you for ish. You ain't done nothing for me. I, I can do it by myself. I don't need you. That's the attitude that society trying to give women. And that's what messing a lot of women up. Because I'm telling you, like me, I'm a good man. If a woman talks like that to me, guess what? We, I'm not going to be with her. If a woman ever tell me she don't need me, I got my own car, I got my own house, I got my own ish, you ain't did nothing for me. I got three, four degrees, I got more degrees in, in a thermometer, I got this, I got that. That's not a strong woman, but that's what society teaches women, that's, been, that's what a strong woman is. And then, I'm going to get turned off, I'm like, okay, okay, well... I'm glad you're a strong one, but guess what? You're not a strong one for me.
a strong woman for me is a woman that have moral standards, boundaries. Yes, she got money. She's self-sufficient. But, you know, she got character. She know how to talk, you know, and articulate without using a lot of curse words. She classy. And she don't mind being single. That's that what's going to turn me on. She don't mind being single. She God-fearing. Morals. That's what a strong woman is to me. So if woman take me there right there, I say you're a strong woman, but you're not a strong woman for me. You somebody else strong woman, but I don't want a woman like that. You see know what I'm saying? So this video is a video of correction, video to correct some things. To all the queen who follow me, be successful. Yes, get your bag. You want to be? You want to call yourself a boss? That's that's between you and God. I'm not here to say you shouldn't do that. I don't like the term boss. But just my personal thing because I don't want to be with the world. Because that's what the world doing. And I feel like the world is using that, that word boss to masculinize women. And to mess up relationships. You know, and that's why a lot of men say, I don't want a boss chick. You know, and you know. And I, 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 and I can understand with some of them who say that. Some of it is insecurity. But some men who say that is because they feel like a woman is not. Walking in her femininity, is she walking around talking about she a boss? You see what I'm saying? And don't say you're a boss B. Don't call yourself no B now. Come on now. Come on now. We gotta do better than ladies. You see what I'm saying? So I just wanna I just wanna bring that to y'all, that question to y'all. You know, you need a man, and men need women. You know, you need a man for protection. You need a man if your car break down or you you, you get a flat tire. Uh, late late night, you on the road traveling with your kids. You need a man to come change that tire. You need a man to protect you. Something go wrong, you on the highway by yourself with them cheering, and y'all on a back road somewhere out in the wood. Especially if you're a black woman. Come on now. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Don't, don't think the KKK ain't still out there. They just don't wear the white robes on. You know, with the, you know what I'm saying? The, white, the all white robes and all that. But they still out there. It's still like that now. So you, especially you're a black woman, you out there by yourself in the backwoods of Georgia somewhere, you, you, you and your kid riding, traveling on the road, and y'all get a flat tire, girl, you need a man to protect you. Come on now. How many of y'all got license to carry? Would y'all get a license? I, 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 listen now, if you ain't got no license to carry, and you a woman these days, Get you, get you, get you, get you some license to carry. That's a whole nother bill for another day. Because, you know, we need protection. You see what I'm saying? But that's what you need a man for, to protect you. Because a lot of y'all probably won't even shoot no gun. Y'all probably won't shoot nobody. You know? But that's what, that what you need a man for. You need a man. You know? Companionship, conversation, masculine energy, just being in, your, just being in the presence of a masculine man. So you may not need a man financially, but you need a man. And men need women. So we need to stop saying we don't need each other. You know, that just, to me, that's just a way of dividing men and women. And it's messing up, you know, relationships. It's messing up the house when we say stuff like that. Well, yeah, you shouldn't need a man. You should want a man. And the man say, well, I don't need a woman. I want a woman. No, I need a woman. I need a woman. I need her favor. I need her feminine energy. You know, I need her presence. I need her to put her hands on my vision. I need her input. I need her opinion. I can't do it by myself. I need a help me. So I we we need women too. You know what I'm saying? Now y'all notice I didn't name anything about the bedroom or the kitchen. That y'all notice I didn't name what I said what I need a woman for. But most men, you ask them what they want a woman. Oh, woman that know how to cook, woman that know how to go down on me, woman that know how to do it in the bedroom. Listen, I, I I don't I don't look at women just as those things. You know, bedroom and cooking for me. I need a woman to to speak in my life to give me some encouragement at times. Because I understand when you feeling down as a man when your wife, your woman, encourage you and tell you, baby, you're going to make it. 
It make you feel like a brand new man. That's what I need a woman for. I need a woman for her ideas, her opinion. You know, I need a, I need a woman for accountability. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a real mature man and I understand the value of a woman. So I will never say I don't need no woman. You see what I'm saying? I need a woman. And men need women and women need men. All right, hey, God bless y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to this, um, watching this video. But like I said, if this is your first time watching and you enjoyed this video, you like this content, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified when I upload videos. And also, everybody, please do not watch this video without giving me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Hey, God bless y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon.